the situation of uh, security in this county. Uh, when I was here, I remember uh, there was a bit of tension which had been brought by political people who were disrupting each other's functions, causing havoc, and we said it uh, very categorically that time, and we repeat now, that no one will be allowed to engage in lawlessness, breach of peace, or disruption of public meetings, and those leaders who are using our young men and women to cause chaos and violence in meetings, uh, we say that we are going to arrest all of them. I am happy to report that we've progressed very well with the investigations, and we expect to be making arrests uh, in the coming days of all those who have been organizing, uh, financing, and orchestrating violence here so that it can serve as a deterrent uh, and nobody repeats that kind of behavior again. I said that time and I repeat now, nobody, and I repeat nobody is above the law. Number two, as security managers, we are not interested with the political persuasion of the offenders. If you break the law, it doesn't matter your political persuasion we will arrest you. It doesn't matter your status in society, we will arrest you, we will prosecute you, and we'll make sure that you are punished in accordance with the laws of our country. The culture of intolerance, violence, and goonism is a matter that is worrying us as security people, not just here in Kisi, in other parts of the country as well. And we are convinced beyond doubt that unless we nip this problem in the, in the bud, we, we nip this problem now, unless we destroy the infrastructure of violence that is developing, which is politically instigated, these criminals will organize themselves and mutate into other crimes. And it will be very difficult to enforce the law and maintain law and order in our country going forward. So we are not doing this just in Kisi, across the country. And therefore, I want to call upon all leaders to obey the law and also to respect one another, transact their activities peacefully. They can disagree on ideas and policies, but nobody has a right to use violence to force his views on any other person. Also, as you're aware, we have a national program to enforce the law on uh, the fight against illicit killer brews, as well as narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. We have reviewed the progress that has been made by the teams here. Some progress has been made, but we believe there is a lot more that we can do to make sure that we eradicate this problem permanently this time round. because in the past, whenever we've tried to do this, we've done it for a few months and then uh, we go back to factory settings. This time round, we've decided to sustain this war on a permanent basis the way we have sustained the war on other serious national security threats. What these poisonous drinks, unhealthy drinks, drugs, and substances are doing is that they are destroying the best of our population. They are making our young people unproductive socially and economically. They are making crime levels even go high. And I want to here uh, confirm that actually since we began the crackdown nationally on 7th of March, there has been a sharp decline on reported crime statistics across the country, meaning there is a link between the drug problem, the illicit alcohol problem, and crime levels. So we want to secure our country, but we also want our people to engage in productive activities when they wake up not to go and look for a poison, 
to kill themselves, not to go and look for drugs. But they, when they wake up, let them go and, and struggle to feed their families, let them find something to do. And I'm sure we cannot use the excuse of joblessness to um, approve uh, the kind of conduct that we are seeing, especially in urban centers, but also in rural areas uh, alike.